What is going on guys, Victor here. Now I'm not sure if this is gonna be an intro for a video or a continuation of a video, but I'm out here on the beach with Joey Antonelli. Absolutely slaying the Pompano the last few days. I think we've gotten like close to 80 fish in the last two days. So we got one of these little lady fish. We're gonna send out as bait to try to catch, frankly, whatever eats, big lady fish or a big stingray, big shark, goliath grouper, who knows what's gonna eat this. We got the old trusty Dexter Tiger Edge bait knife, and I wanna conserve it, so I'm gonna cut it into two baits, and it's also just gonna cast better, so we're gonna cut it right down the middle, and always cut the tail off so your baits don't spin in the water or in the air, and I just like the, the tails off. So we got two baits now. We're going this way. And thankfully, Alex is one of Joey's buddies. He was on the beach, he's like, you want me to film for you? And I'm like, heck yeah. So give him a follow on Instagram, I'll have his stuff linked up here. Alex Shearholz Photography, follow him on, on the gram. So, this is what we got for a setup. So we're not after really big sharks if we do get a shark. I have a sliding pyramid sinker, and this is crucial because when a shark feels tension or anything like that, they tend to let it go. So what this will do is it'll catch in the sand, and then when a shark takes off with it, the sinker will stay in place, and it'll your line and leader will slide as he's taking line out to let him eat. So there's a little pro tip for you guys. Then we have 80 pound leader. I'd like to use something more, but wasn't really planning on doing this. And then just a little bit of wire. Despite what people think, you don't need a lot of wire for sharks. And about an 80 circle hook right there. Now, we're gonna hook this lady fish right up here through the head. It's a nice hard spot so it's not gonna sling off when we go to cast it. it that far because when you have that big of a bait and lead you just can't get it that far plus I'm just not that good at surf casting so we put it up here and we sit and wait in the rod hold you guys have been asking for shark videos so hopefully I can deliver on that promise and definitely setting the drag pretty loose otherwise our rods gonna end up in the rod in the water Joey just caught a pompano down there so there's a lot of life here I've seen mackerel bluefish ladyfish out there I've already hooked two sharks, which you guys, I don't know if I'm going to put that in this video. Hooked up, guys. So I just put out that shark bait, and as soon as it hit the water, I'm pretty sure bluefish were messing with it because it was just bouncing like crazy. So I tossed on a spoon and tossed it out there. Back-to-back -back casts. I've gotten hit. I think this is going to be a bluefish. Sure fighting like one. Oh yeah, bluefish. So we got more shark bait now. Yeah guys, really good lure for a fish in the surf is a spoon. Bluefish, jacks, mackerel, catch all three of them on a spoon. And Joey's hooked up down there on my rod with a pompano. So Joey was asking me if we could catch fish like this any given day in the winter. And I'm like, heck no, it is so built up down in South Florida. But you, I mean like what? We're spoiled. Bluefish, whiting, Bluefish pompano. And mackerel, jacks, those are pretty much any given day in the winter time. We get a lot of pompano and whiting also this time of year. It's just, you gotta find the good day when they're moving through. Yeah. But any day in the winter time, you throw spoons or gotchas or something like that, you can pull on something. That's why you guys gotta subscribe to his channel because he, he puts out like actual hardcore fishing content 24 seven. Right. I keep telling him he's gotta get on the catch and cook game, but. Victor won't come and make them for me. Oh, that's what he wants. All right, I'll come up and cook for you, dude. Yeah, just send me the video and I'll upload it. All right. <laughs> I mean, there's condos and stuff behind us, but nothing on the scale of what it is down in South Florida. I think that has a huge reason to do with it. Even the river, is just so built up down there and in the intercoastal you don't have mangroves and that all everything on that side 
of the inner, oh, that side of the beach affects this side of the beach 100%. Shrimp, bait, pilchards, all of that stuff grows up down there. It's all intertwined. That's what I'm trying to get at. So I'm gonna keep on plucking away at these bluefish. When I say that we sprint to these rods, I'm not kidding, we sprint to these things. Because if they go slack on you, a lot of times the pompano will come off. There's a decent sized one. That's what I call a good pompano. Like that two pound range. And you guys are on the, on the YouTube screen saying, that's not a big pompano. Well, guess what? If you were here, you'd be saying it is. Good sized one. This is the most acrobatic. Oh my God, that thing seen. jumped. Oh, there he goes again. Dude, this thing's must have jumped like 20 times. Right there, Alex. Are you over that one? Sand. Big bait produced. All right, we're crushing pompano. Vic's yeah. got his shark. Literally, all the pompano rods are going off. Shark almost took my van stall in. Oh, just kidding. Hopefully he doesn't go in all our pompano rods. I'm telling you guys, this thing jumps more than any black tip I've ever caught. And every single pompano rod has basically gotten hit. Hopefully he doesn't go in all these lines, that's the problem. Back this way. Yeah, they, they feel that shallow water, they don't want to be anywhere near it. This is a good day. We got our pompano, we got our sharks, bluefish, everything you could ask for from the surf. There he is. Don't get your toes bit off, Vic. I was just dragging by the tail a little bit, get him a little bit deeper, and he's gonna go. Joey knows. You're good right there. Oh, perfect. Look at that thing. He's kicking hard. Go, go, go. Heck yeah, dude. That's Thank sick. you. Dude, my pants are like falling off. I need to find <laughs> my pants. All right, well, successful release of a nice little black tip, spinner shark. Who, me? Oh, yeah, No, you. I haven't tied my pants. Oh, my bad, dude. All right, we got pompanos going off. All right, enough messing around with the sharks. I really wanted to get a shark today. We got the shark out of the way. Now it's time to go on with the epic pompano slay because they are chewing right now. Yeah, catching sharks is the best way to make the pompano turn on. Yeah, and it's a good way to clear all the rods. I don't think we have any rods out, do we? Have you? All right, shark number two on. Now I'm gonna piss all the guys off because the shark is running through all the pompano rods. Isn't that right, Simon? Actually, now he's going back up north. Uh huh. Big baits, big baits. This is how you gotta do it with the surf rod. You gotta put it in between your legs. Looks stupid, but it's very comfortable. Oh, we could unsnap that too. Yeah. And then it won't be an issue. All right. Here, I'll hold the, you want me to hold both rods? So we got to unsnap the weight. I don't know, it doesn't look too far. So I'm, oh, you got to go under then up. No, my rod, uh, yeah. Yep. Perfect. Thank you. Yep. I was just gonna drive during that whole ordeal. Now our snap, now our weight's off, so that shouldn't cause any issues, because that's what happened is the weight got caught on his line. Now if we get him going here, and then he'll turn and come towards us. Oh, he turned back this way. Here, can you hold the rod? Just keep it tight. 
Oh boy, hold on. Just wait for this. So that's the thing. If you're ever going to do this yourself, I know I get so many questions about shark fishing. If you're going to release sharks, prioritize, prioritize your safety. Try to get them in, in the water as fast as possible. If you can't get the hook out, use non-stainless steel circle hooks and cut it as close to the mouth as you can. We've caught so many sharks before with hooks in their mouths and they will come out. They might not come out in a week, but trust me, it's much better for the animal to cut it then rather and try and be a hero and yank on his jaw and keep him out of the water for a long time. And then when you bring him in the water, as you guys see, the swells can work to your advantage. I bring him in until I see the swell's gonna break, flip him around, and then I give him a good push and he'll just work his way right back in. You don't have to get in waist deep water or neck deep water with these little spinners, but those things are probably the most dangerous shark on the beach. Not those giant hammerheads we catch, not the giant tigers or bulls, those right there, because they're super agile and just fast, but solid work. Two sharks, plenty of pump, no. All right, you guys, I'm gonna put the drone in the air, show you this absolutely beautiful view. Looks like there's a good amount of fishermen on the beach. The day is coming down to a close. We've probably caught, caught between Joey, I, and his friends close to 100 pump in the last two days, which is insane. So what better way to end the day with a little drone footage.